So today I'm going to be interviewing Sam Wines on his ACSI questionnaire. Each section is going to be out of a score of 12 and I'm going to explain to Sam how, could he, how he could improve on each section and what his weaknesses are. So Sam, can you just tell me which coping score was, please? I scored a 9. So he scored a 9 out of 12, which means that he scored above average and is closer to maximum points than is average. This means that he's more likely to remain calm and positive when he maybe he begins to lose in his sport. So next off is the coachability score. So Sam, what do you think uh, you got? Coachability, I scored 11 for that. So basic, pretty much maximum score on that section. This basically means that you're able to take feedback from the coach without it getting to you. So you'll just help. It will just help you to improve. Do you believe that's right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, if, what did you get for your concentration score? Uh, five for that one. So, as, obviously that weren't very good, that was below average. This just means that you're less likely to become distracted by, Pete, for example, the audience or things like that. So, how do you feel about that? Do you feel you get distracted easy? Yeah, I do feel that's one of my uh, flaws, actually. Alright, so next up is the confidence and achievement motivation score. What did you get for that? Um, sorry, what's that one? The confidence uh, and motivation. Confidence, I scored 10. So you scored 10 out of 12, which is basically, again, maximum points. This means that you're able to give 100% in your chosen sport, meaning that you enjoy to play that and you could become motivated by it. Do you feel you're motivated easily by your chosen sport? Yeah, I do enjoy choosing my sport. <clears throat> so next off is the goal setting score. So what did you get for that? Uh, for this one, I scored 7. So you got just above average score for that section. This basically means that you're able to set yourself targets that you aim to reach in each match you play. Do you feel you set yourself a target every game? Not every game, but I do try most games. So how do you feel you can improve on that? Maybe give yourself a target for yeah, each game? I, I have one for each game instead of every other one. So next off is the peaking on the pressure score. For this score, I scored 11. So you need basically scored maximum points again. This means that you're able, you're less likely to, be, to put pressure on yourself, being worried about what other people think about you. So if you have an audience booing you, it doesn't affect your performance. Yeah, I agree. I never let anyone uh, affect my performance. That's good. That's Any a strength for you. I'm in control of that. Yeah, that means that you can just block them out and carry on playing, which is always a good thing for athletes. Yeah. So the lot, final one we're going to be talking about is the freedom from worry score. So what did you get for that? Uh, I got eight for that one. So you got eight out of twelve. So it was between average and maximum score. So this ba this means that you don't worry about your performance again. Means that you make don't worry about making mistakes. So if you make a mistake, you learn from it and you just carry on playing. You, do you feel that's all right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, Sam. Thanks for the interview, and that's the end.